Hello viewers and welcome to our channel Science E-Solution. This is Manju Sharma taking your bio classes. Today in our class we will be taking a very important biochemistry topic that is transamination of amino acids. If you are a bio student kindly hit the subscribe button because you will be benefited a lot with our explanatory lectures, videos and PowerPoint presentations. So before wasting your time let's jump into the details. You can take down the notes or can do screenshot as well. So transamination is the first step in the amino acid metabolism in which there is transfer of amino group from one point to another carbon skeleton but there is no free ammonia liberated. Okay. So amino acid metabolism is an important process that occurs within the human body and it assists in numerous biological reactions and the first step in the breakdown of amino acids is the transamination or removal of amino group this reaction where there is removal of amino group that is called as transamination reaction so let's see its definition transamination is a chemical reaction that transfers an amino group from an amino acid to a keto acid to form a new amino acid and a new keto acid. That means amino group from amino acid is transferred to keto acid. Okay, and it forms new amino acid and a new keto acid. This statement would be more clear to you after you see the reactions in our next page. So this pathway helps to convert essential amino acids to non-essential amino acids. And it is accomplished by the enzymes which are known as transaminases or aminotransferases. By the name aminotransferases, it is clear that it transfers the amino group from one point to another point. Okay. Now let's see the reaction. Amino acid, it reacts with a keto acid with the help of the enzyme transaminase which requires a coenzyme pyridoxal phosphate. This pyridoxal phosphate is derived from vitamin B6 and after this reaction a new keto acid and a new amino acid is formed. So let us see the structures. This is the amino acid okay, and this is the keto acid. You can see here R1 carbon skeleton is associated with the amino acid and R2 is associated with the keto acid. Now there is transfer of this amino group from this amino acid to this keto acid okay this amino group is transferred from this R1 carbon skeleton to this R2 carbon skeleton and it forms a new keto acid you can see this amino acid associated with R1 is converted into a new keto acid and keto acid which was associated with R2 it forms a new amino acid so in this way, this amino group is transferred from this group to this group. Okay. So this is how a new keto acid and a new amino acids are formed after the transamination reaction. I hope this reaction is clear to you after this presentation. So if you have understood the reaction, kindly hit the like button. Now, Let's see what's the fate of carbon skeleton after the transamination reaction. The carbon skeleton could be utilized for synthesis of glucose and hence to derive energy. It could be diverted for the formation of fat or ketone bodies. That means glucose could be produced from it, fat or ketone bodies could be produced from it and the non-essential amino acids could also be produced from those carbon skeletons of the transamination reactions. Then what are the important points in the transamination reactions? The first point to remember is there is no free ammonia liberated. Okay, no free ammonia is liberated. There is only transfer of the amino group from one amino acid to a keto acid. Okay. Then the amino acids except lysine, threonine, proline and hydroxyproline. 
these are the four amino acids lysine threonine proline and hydroxyproline which do not undergo transamination except these four amino acids all the other amino acids they undergo transamination reactions all transaminases they require pyridoxal phosphate as a coenzyme which is derived from vitamin b6 i have already mentioned this specific transaminases enzymes are there for each pair of amino and keto acids okay so transamination reaction it occurs between a pair of amino acid and a keto acid and there are specific enzymes specific transaminases for that and this reaction is reversible okay this was the last point so i hope the transamination points are clear to you so kindly subscribe onto our channel and hit the like button if you have understood the concept stay tuned